start with priming the face this is just going to act as a base and help all the makeup stay in place all night and then i'm just going to apply her foundation concealer and powder as you usually would In a black eyeliner, I'm just going to outline where I would have the eyes for the sugar scar. I'm going to take any colour of your choice, I chose to use pink, and you're just going to fill in all of the circle. And using a more detailed brush, you're going to want to take a sort of darker shade of what the colour you have. I actually use just a darker purple and just blending it to create this gradient effect. Once again, as before, you're taking the colour of your choice, you're going to want to start drawing semicircles around the edge of the eye, and this is going to create a flower effect which you see in most sugar skulls. You're then going to want to fill your eyebrows in with whites just so that they can create a blank canvas and then go over them in the colour of your choice. I chose green because I thought it contrasted nicely with the red and helped for the eyebrows to stand out. The all important contouring, as you can say it's not your usual contour, what I've done is taken a black shadow and just placed it along the cheekbones and then I'm just blending it out to create the sort of hollows of her cheeks and then I take a concealer and just sharpen up the edges. Taking a smaller detailed brush I'm just adding in the finer details to the cheekbones. And it doesn't matter if you mess up, because as you can see here, you just cover it with concealer and start again. I personally then wanted to go one step further with this tutorial, so I've just taken a blue shadow and I'm running it along the edges of those bones that we've created, and it gives this illusion of a gradient. I've then taken a concealer and neaten it all up, and this adds that extra detail to the look. I'm going to want to start adding all the fine details. So firstly, I'm just taking a black eyeliner liquid and just drawing in the nose and also going over what we did before and joining it up to create the mouth of the skull. finish off the look I'm just going in and carving out the forehead and also adding the all important emblem on the top of her forehead. It's pretty self explanatory, it's a spider's web. <laughs> Well, optional, I just did it for preference. Um, I'm just adding eyeliner and some mascara onto her lashes. You could also go one step further and add some falsies, um, but I chose not to for this look. I 
I did then decide to outline everything in that liquid eyeliner just to help it stand out and I also didn't do this too neatly because I quite liked the roughness of the lines. And that is the finished look. I went on to add a wig. I think this is great for Halloween. It's really fun and easy to do. So please let me know what you think. We're done! I'm gonna go rub my face on my face! No! <laughs> don't, don't curse.